Hey everybody. So, I'm on my way to school right now. I have my philosophy class. And, um, so I just thought I would talk to you about my very interesting day so far. Since Daniel hasn't put a video up yet, I think it was in his last video, or second to last video, where he talked about how he decided he isn't going to put a video up every day because it's getting really time consuming and really difficult to do every single day. So that's cool and understandable. But he hasn't put one up in a week, in over a week. So I will. I'll pick up his slack. So um, today in my anatomy class, we. I think the person to my left is looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. But anyway, in my anatomy class, we dissected a sheep brain. Uh, we did. Our teacher showed us because we didn't have enough time because we had to finish our lecture and then go to lab. And so she showed us and we videoed it. And in our next lab, we will do it in our group. So it's cool. So here's a clip of that. I see this huge bump right here. That would be the pond. The second bump that I see is the medulla oblongata, okay? And then these little structures that you see coming off like that, those are cranial nerves. All of these are cranial nerves. You'll see them off the base of the brain. There's, can you see those right there, those little ones right there? They just cut them pretty close by. And we'll learn about those next time as well. And then right here, you can kind of see a V. That V is part of the optic nerve. Where it, they cut it short, it usually goes nice and long, you know, coming from the eye, it's coming from the eye, and it crosses here. Where it crosses is called the optic chiasm. Where it goes into the brain is called the optic tract. Olfactory bulb, into the brain, olfactory tract. Optic chiasm, into the brain, optic tract. All right, so crazy. I expected the brain to be bigger, but I just don't realize that brains are really tiny. <laughs> Especially sheep brains, they're really tiny. Um, and I'm about to be in a no phone school zone, so I'm going to go. And I'm going to leave you with, what other clip do I have? I don't know, but I'm going to leave you with I gave them peas. There's peas in cold water. And they seem to like it. And I just cleaned their cage. So everything's nice and fresh. <laughs> Funny little guy. There's holes on the top of that shoebox. 